We have to speak about sustainability as it has become the driving force in the aviation industry. So to no surprise, RTX and its Pratt & Whitney and Collins Aerospace businesses is not only a leader, but also a strong advocate for sustainability in aviation. They understand the urgent need to address climate change and are actively supporting their customers in working towards a net zero future by 2050. Pratt & Whitney has recognized that there are multiple paths to achieving sustainability in aviation, from hybrid electric propulsion systems to increasing alternative fuels like 100% sustainable aviation fuel and even hydrogen fuel, Pratt & Whitney is actively investing in research and development to find the most efficient and sustainable ways to power any type of aircraft. Pratt & Whitney's commitment to sustainability extends beyond technology. They are integrating greener businesses' practices throughout their operations. So from optimizing manufacturing processes to reducing waste and emissions, they are taking proactive steps to minimize their environmental footprint. To give you a deeper insight, listen to what Chief Sustainability Officer Graham Webb has to say in our short interview. I'm here with Graham. Tell us about the title and your functions with Pratt & Whitney. So I'm Graham Webb. I'm the Chief Sustainability Officer for mm -hmm. Pratt & Whitney, and I also run our advanced commercial engine programs. What are the key areas that Pratt & Whitney focuses on in terms of sustainability? So in terms of sustainability, we have three primary focus areas. One is smarter technologies, mm -hmm. uh, some, uh, such as the hybrid electric engines and our hydrogen concepts that we're developing. The second is cleaner fuels, and, and mm -hmm. there we're looking at sustainable aviation fuels and as well hydrogen cryogenic hydrogen predominantly, and then greener operations. And we are world-class in that area in terms of both uh, water savings as mm -hmm. well as our greenhouse gas reduction and energy savings. So speaking of uh, Pratt & Whitney and the hybrid that you just mentioned, can you tell us a bit about this hybrid propulsion system? Yeah, so the hybrid propulsion system is a joint activity that we're working with Collins, mm -hmm. who is a world leader in electric motors. So we're combining our strengths in propulsion with Collins' strengths in, in electrical motors and also heat exchangers. Mm -hmm. And together we're able to attain, in the case of our regional turboprop, 30% improvement in fuel efficiency and thus carbon dioxide improvement by the combination of, a, of an advanced thermal engine with mm -hmm. a one megawatt electrical motor that generates one kilowatt, you know, an enormous amount of electricity yeah. during flight operations. So how does Pratt & Whitney benefit from this one company approach from Raytheon the Technologies? Well, this is what's really great about RTX. We're bringing together the core strengths of, of two powerful brands. We have Pratt & Whitney mm -hmm. in our over almost 100 years of, of leading propulsion technology. Mm -hmm. And then we have Collins, who has just this broader range of, of everything you can imagine on an aircraft. Mm -hmm. In particular, you know, we work with them on the electrical power the heat, uh, the heat exchangers for the power thermal management systems. Mm -hmm. And all of that is enabling us to develop these advanced products for the future, mm -hmm. which will be more sustainable, burn less fuel, and thus emit less carbon dioxide. Okay. Graham, that was it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you very much. I'm here with Leanne. Leanne, please introduce yourself briefly. What is your title and what do you do for Collins Aerospace? My name is Leanne Ridgway, and I'm Chief Sustainability Officer for Collins Aerospace. What role does Collins play in sustainability? What are you doing for it? Well, sustainability is a broad <laughs> topic. What I would tell you is we've got a three-prong approach for sustainability. Mm -hmm. One is collaboration with all of our key stakeholders, mm -hmm. obviously the airlines, the OEMs, and all the major associations, as well as our customers. Uh, but more importantly, inside our own core walls, we're, mm -hmm. we're taking care of our own factories and yeah. converting those to be energy efficient. And then certainly with our technologies, which is where the real excitement comes on our path to net zero. <laughs> All right, we are in front of the GTF. You guys design and build the nacelle for the GTF. How does that impact sustainability? Well, the nacelle is a pretty exciting piece of equipment that we mm -hmm. design and we work with Pratt and & Whitney and, and other OEM manufacturers. And the nacelle plays an important role because right now our next generation nacelle, we're using new lighter weight components. So mm -hmm. just the fact that it's so much lighter, it's saving fuel and reducing carbon emissions. Mm -hmm. But also a, a really exciting fact also is it's about 70, greater than 70% more quiet than previous generation nacelles, which is it was really a beneficial lot. to the <laughs> Yeah, nice, good, okay. How does Pratt & Whitney and Collins 
work with this one company approach from Raytheon Technologies. How's that working for you guys? It, it's been such a great experience to come together with Pratt and Whitney and Collins because mm -hmm. if you take the breadth of both portfolios mm -hmm. and you get our engineers together, mm -hmm. it's amazing the types of opportunity they're finding for sustainability around mm -hmm. continual optimization. Mm -hmm. In the Nacelle was a perfect example, but there are many more that we've got that we're working together. Okay. Speaking of many more, are there other things that Collins is focusing on in terms of sustainability? You mentioned like in cabin, the cabin interiors and stuff like that. All across our product line, we're working on light weighting of our products and our mm -hmm, systems. Mm -hmm. And that brings huge benefit when you're talking things from landing gear to brakes mm -hmm. to the interiors, the galleys, the seats, and the front end and the cockpit. So nice. all of our engineers are focused on using new advanced structures, mm -hmm. lightweight materials to drive that weight out of our systems. Yeah. And then what's really exciting is all of the digitalization that's going on as mm -hmm, well mm -hmm. to take, you know, all of the history we've got with our, our flight paths and mm -hmm. all of our products, take that and mold that together to really take that data, put an AI front end on it, really drive value for the pilots and for the airlines and for the airports. It sounds like a bright future ahead of us, by the sounds of that. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for your yeah, time. I appreciate you. it. Thank you, <laughs> Good. With their focus on smarter technology, cleaner fuels, and greener business practices, Pratt & Whitney is not just a key player in sustainable aviation, but a catalyst for change. Their dedication to exploring different paths towards sustainability is setting a powerful example for the industry. Together with their customers and partners, they are working towards a future where aviation is not only efficient and reliable, but also environmentally responsible. It's great to know that Pratt & Whitney and Collins Aerospace don't just have the right mindset towards sustainability, but are also putting theory into practice.